All right, this is my test run, first time using Tuxedo OS. Now, Tuxedo computers, they are a manufacturer, like, you know, kind of like System76, I guess you could say. They're based out of Germany, I believe. And they make their own custom kernel version of this Tuxedo OS, which is based on Ubuntu. And it runs really well on their hard hardware that they support. So that's really cool. But they also give you the opportunity to run this on your own hardware, which I'm doing now. I'm running this on a bare bones laptop and I'm going to check it out for the first time. So I've already run sudo apt update to just update everything on the, on the computer to make sure it's running the latest. And this is running the new Plasma 6 desktop on Wayland. Um, it, it was presented to me as an option at the time of install. You can pick X11 or Xorg or Wayland as your desktop um, um, compositor. I forget, forget what the proper word is, but yeah, you can, you can pick Wayland. So I picked Wayland because that's eventually what things are going to. They're going to use that display server. That's what it is, a display server. There we go. See, it just came naturally when I, when I didn't think too hard about it. So the most imp important technical change with Plasma 6 is the default setting of Wayland as the display server instead of the previous X11 display server. So this is what it says on the distro watch description. But on their website, it talks about, you know, you can buy computers from them. You can actually buy computers that have this Tuxedo OS. And the cool thing is, yeah, I'm running it on my own hardware, and it seems to be running really well. I am I got my microphone plugged into it. It's recording, and seems to be doing really well. So let's click around and see what we got. We got this software center right here. And what I like about this, yeah, it's like in this KDE environment, it's, it's almost like it's baked into the settings, like it's already made to just, to, it's really efficient because you got your software right here. So I could go and I could install VLC Media Player. Let's install VLC. Oh, I already have it. That's awesome. So it came with VLC Media Player, one of my favorites. Plays anything. And let's go under Development. We got Solitaire. That's, oh, that's under Games. <laughs> that makes sense. Development, we got Kate uh, Text Editor. It's a great text editor, uh, KDE. And we got under Games, you got Minesweeper, Patience Card Game, Sudoku. Very cool. Very cool games that it's got right out of the box. Uh, has Gwenview, KDE Image Viewer. Uh, it's got LibreOffice Suite, uh, the draw application. Ocular Document Viewer, that's a great one. Scan image Scanning Application, awesome. I don't have a scanner that I could build uh, or that I can try, but you got Internet, you got Firefox Browser, Thunderbird Mail Client, basically everything you need out of the box. There's VLC Media Player. GPU Screen Recorder I installed. That's the only thing I installed on this operating system just so I could record this video. And again, it's recording flawlessly. Um, we got Office. There's LibreOffice Draw again because you saw that under the graphics applications. But, of course, it'll show up properly under the Office menu. Uh, we got Science and Math. We have Settings, System Settings. And that's, that's, that's what I really like about this. You go to set it, System Settings, and it just it feels all baked into here. It feels the same, right? Like this Quick Settings looks just like home discover it, it, it's really neat i don't know it's just it's just i just like how everything's right there and we can go to a dark theme let's click on that quick settings did i do it right oh i gotta click apply how about that so cool and so fast it doesn't feel chunky like windows does to me you know so let's go let's look look let's look up the mouse m-o-u-s-e or trackpad or am I just searching for you know what I'm doing this wrong I'm I'm in the home discover app again see it does look the same okay let's go back here let's go to settings system settings and right here mouse and touchpad what I like is I like to invert my scroll direction for my uh, touchpad so I like to scroll two fingers on the touchpad and have up go down the page so that is inverted so let's see, invert scroll direction, natural scrolling. And there we are. That's nice. Let's see how browsing goes and, and how scrolling goes on the web. Let's go to let's go to Linux blog. Let's look up look look up a okay, just go to the this one right here. Scrolling is very smooth. I like that. I like to be able to just blast through a web page. If I have to like just flick up the on the screen, I like it to be responsive, and this is really responsive. 
And I don't have a problem with Firefox browser other than the defaults like Pocket that I remove and, you know, stuff like that. But Firefox is still an awesome browser. It's got all the plugins I need. Okay, anyway, I won't get too sidetracked. So we're going to go back here to multimedia. We got Camoso, which is a camera app. <laughs> we got, there's the office. That's where I left off. Science and math, LibreOffice. That's not really needed, this category, but and you can customize that. System, we got lots of stuff under here. We got Discover Software Center, which we already checked out. We have Dolphin File Manager, Info Center. We have ISO Image Writer, KDE Partition Manager, Console. And that's where I run the command to update the system when I want to do it from the terminal. It's nice and handy. System Monitor, let's go to that. We got CPU, disk, memory, using 2.2 gigs of RAM. Okay. Not bad, I guess. Let's close that. And again, I'm recording. I'm recording to 60 frames per second uh, frame rate, so that's going to use up some RAM as well. We're going to go back to here. We got menu editor. That's what I was just talking about earlier, where I could edit this menu and maybe get rid of something like science and math because LibreOffice Math already shows up under the Office Suite. So that's something I would probably just change. Utilities. Now that's interesting. Next cloud, next cloud Desktop. I can't talk. That is included, the Folder Sync app for that. That's a very interesting choice to have out of the box, I think. Uh, you got KCalc. You got KFind. Files and folders. This is a really neat uh, operating system. I could see this using. Uh, I could see this being used as my daily driver. I'm not sure I would do it right now, but I would. You know, this would be a company to look into buying a computer from. I think it's really cool that they have a Linux desktop and they support their own hardware with customized kernels that tailor to the the hardware it's running on. I think that's really neat and that's important and shows that they have good support. So I'd like to thank you for looking at this video and please be sure to like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it and I will continue to make more videos. Thank you.